Okay. Bipartite. So the definition of this is weird, but when you actually, the, you know, the actuality of it, the intuition you can build about this is, is pretty straightforward. So let's read the definition and then try to use it. Okay, so we say a graph is bipartite if the vertices can be divided into two sets, A and B, with no vertices in A adjacent to each other and no vertices in B adjacent to each other. So the only connections can be between A and B, none within A or within B. So let's look at a couple of graphs here and see if we can make this happen. Uh, so the easiest way to do this, I think, is to draw a representation uh, that identifies it as bipartite. So let's first, let's, let's draw a representation of G here. And so let's get a graph. So we have A, B, C, D. And the connections are A to B, B to C, C to D, and A to D. Okay, so it's just, you know, you could draw it as a square, right? So <clears throat> the question is, is this bipartite? Is there a way that I can collect these into two sets so that none of the um, vertices within the sets are adjacent? So let's, I'm gonna label one column A and one column B. So usually we think about this splitting between two columns or two rows. So, um, and it doesn't matter what goes in A and what goes in B. So I'm gonna start with A here. And if I look back at this graph, notice that, so I, according to bipartite, if, if this is a bipartite graph, there should be a way to list these out so that I don't put anything that's connected to A in this set A. And so I can't put B or D there. So that A being here tells me that B and D have to be over here. And then C, I can put with A because A is not directly connected to C. Uh, but I, I just need to make sure that C hasn't been put with something, you know, that, you know, this doesn't mess something up some other way. Uh, and it doesn't. So let's draw the new picture. So we still need the same connection. So A to B. Uh, B to C, A to D, yeah, and C to D. Right. And so maybe we could call this the bipartite representation or a bipartite representation. So this, yes, this is. bipartite. I was able to separate the vertices into two sets A and B and there are no connections within A, no connections within B, but connections between them. Okay, so let's look at an example that doesn't work. So let's look at H. So the same four vertices A, B, C, D. So let's draw this. Draw it the same way. So I still have A, B, B, C, uh, A, D. So let's draw this. A, B, B, C, A, D, uh, and C, D, so just like before. Oh, yeah, I wrote A, D twice. Let me get rid of this. Okay, and now, but now I have uh, A, C, right, so. It's gonna turn out that this is not bipartite, so let's see why. So if I start out with A, B, so I need to put A in one of the columns, and then notice that A is connected to B, C, and D, which means I have to put these over here. If this was, a, a, you know, had a chance at all being bipartite, B, C, and D have to be in a different column from A, but then if I try to draw this, you know, picture, we're okay now, but uh, B and C are connected, and C and D are connected. And this is the kind of thing, this is not allowed for bipartite graphs, right? Uh, 
and, and there's no way to get there's no way to fix this um, so H is not bipartite. 